but Icarus was carried away by his own enthusiasm. He ignored his father's warning and flew higher and higher, reaching for the sun with outstretched wings. Suddenly, the wax that held his wings together began to melt under the scorching heat of the sun. Greek mythology is a treasure trove of stories that have fascinated and inspired us for generations. These tales carry profound life lessons, weaving together themes of love, bravery, and the complexities of being human. Today, we delve into one such legendary story, the tale of Icarus and Daedalus. It is a story of aspiration, caution, and the consequences of carelessness. Once upon a time, in the ancient city of Athens, there lived a talented craftsman named Daedalus. He was a genius when it came to building and inventing things. One day, word of his exceptional skills reached the ears of King Minos, the ruler of Crete. King Minos was a powerful and feared leader who wanted Daedalus to construct a labyrinth, a massive maze, to imprison a fearsome creature known as the Minotaur. The Minotaur had the body of a man and the head of a bull, and King Minos wanted to keep it hidden away from the world. So, Daedalus traveled to Crete and began his work on the labyrinth. It was an enormous task, but he poured all his talent and creativity into designing this complex maze. As the days turned into weeks, and the weeks turned into months, Daedalus worked tirelessly, creating intricate pathways and twists and turns within the labyrinth's walls. Finally, the labyrinth was complete, and King Minos was impressed with Daedalus' masterpiece. But the king was also worried that Daedalus might reveal the labyrinth's secrets to others. So, he ordered that Daedalus and his young son, Icarus, be imprisoned within the very maze he had built. Daedalus and Icarus found themselves trapped on the island of Crete, inside the labyrinth they had constructed. It was a dark and lonely place, with no hope of escape. But Daedalus was determined to find a way out and return to Athens. Daedalus had managed to navigate the labyrinth he himself had crafted, finally escaping the prison that held him captive on the island of Crete. But, freedom remained a distant dream, for the vast expanse of the sea stood between him and his beloved Athens. The weight of despair settled upon his weary shoulders. Days turned into nights, and nights turned into weeks, as Daedalus pondered his predicament. He gazed out at the endless waters, feeling a deep ache in his heart. But then, a glimmer of hope ignited within him as he observed a flock of birds gracefully soaring through the azure sky. He decided to create wings for himself and Icarus so they could fly away from the island. Gathering feathers from various birds, he fashioned them together using wax and string, carefully crafting a set of wings for each of them. With the wings ready, Daedalus and Icarus stood at the edge of a cliff, overlooking the shimmering sea. The wind rustled through their feathers as Daedalus demonstrated how to flap the wings and take flight. Excitement filled Icarus' eyes as he eagerly listened to his father's instructions. He warned Icarus not to fly too close to the sun, as the heat could melt the wax holding the wings together. He also cautioned him not to fly too low, as the sea's moisture could weigh down the feathers and make it impossible to stay airborne. And with that, they leaped into the air, their wings flapping with the rhythm of their dreams. The warmth of the sun embraced them as they soared higher and higher, leaving the confinements of the labyrinth behind. As the wind whistled past their ears, Icarus couldn't contain his joy and excitement. He started to fly higher, tempted by the beautiful sun shining above. Father, look at me! I'm flying so high! I feel invincible! Icarus, my son, remember what I said! You mustn't fly too close to the sun! But Icarus was carried away by his own enthusiasm. He ignored his father's warning and flew higher and higher, reaching for the sun with outstretched wings. Suddenly, the wax that held his wings together began to melt under the scorching heat of the sun. Icarus felt his wings weakening, and feathers started to drift away like golden leaves in the wind. Daedalus, filled with worry, called out to his son, desperately trying to catch his attention amidst the rushing wind. Icarus, my son! Descend, for the sun's heat is melting your wings! Icarus, startled by his father's urgent plea, looked down and realized the peril he was in. But it was too late. The damage was done, and his wings were falling apart, leaving him defenseless against gravity's pull. With a sense of helplessness, Icarus began to descend rapidly, his heart pounding in his chest. The world around him became a blur as he plummeted toward the endless expanse of the sea. 
Deadless, his own wings intact, desperately swooped down, trying to catch his falling son. The wind roared in his ears, and his heart ached with regret for not being able to save Icarus from his own recklessness. In a splash of foaming waves, Icarus disappeared beneath the surface of the sea, his dreams of freedom shattered. Deadless reached the spot where his son had fallen, but there was nothing he could do to bring him back. From that day on, Deadless carried the weight of his son's loss in his heart. So, whenever you gaze at the sky and see the birds soaring freely, remember the story of Icarus and Deadless, it served as a poignant reminder of the consequences of unchecked ambition and the dangers of disregarding wise counsel. The tale of Icarus became a moral lesson, teaching us the importance of humility, wisdom, and the balance between ambition and restraint. It reminds us to pursue our dreams with caution, respecting the boundaries set by nature, and finding success through a harmonious blend of aspiration and humility.